What's up guys, Steven Logan here from Pro Physique. Today what I want to talk about is life after the stage. Nah, nah, nah. What? So, what the fuck am I talking about life after the stage? What the f what do you even mean life after the stage, Steven? Doesn't make any sense, right? Well, I mean, kind of, sort of. Kind of makes sense. You know? um, and I think, you know, it really makes sense in terms of long-term goals. Uh, <clears throat> understanding that, you know, um, there is an after. There's, there's a something that comes next. Uh, we can't just say, hey, this is the stage. This is where our planning ends, you know, uh, there's definitely always got to be a next step, right? And that's going to be different depending on who you are and where you're at in terms of life. Uh, yeah, and by the way, I know everything looks fucking off in the back. I don't care. It's super on. I think it's my camera stand that's off. Fuck it. Anyways, uh, so depending where you're at, the next step might be different, right? Um, <laughs> So, if you are at the regional levels in competition, right, uh, there might be a couple next steps. There might be the next step of, hey, we need to take time to build. There might be the next step of, hey, we want an overall or we want an open class. Let's look at going to nationals, right? Let's talk about where we're at in terms of our physique. Do we have enough muscles or conditioning? Like, are we responding still? Let's talk about that national stage, right? So, there's a couple different options right there. Uh, but... Either way, there has to be a plan of what happens after nationals, what happens after the competition season is done. You know, very first and foremost, we should definitely be thinking about the reverse dieting process. We should be thinking about how do we keep ourselves in a healthy place that's close enough to stage to where we can still be successful, right? That's important stuff. Um, so keeping that in mind that your diet doesn't end just because show's over, right? We still, we're still on a diet, you know. Uh, <clears throat> post-show, yes, have a good meal, yes, let loose a little bit for, you know, maybe a day, but understand we got to get back on track because we're primed to store fat at that point, right? And that's kind of the one thing that we really, like, don't want. We're like, oh, God, I don't want to be up 20 pounds in two weeks. That's not conducive to our self-confidence, our self-esteem, our quality of life, our continued uh, process as a competitor, right? That doesn't do us well, so we want to make sure that we're doing things to set us up well in the long term. So understanding and knowing, first and foremost, that the diet continues. That's a big part of it, right? Um, knowing that we still need to be adherent to a reverse. We're probably going to be in a place if our conditioning was where it needed to be. We're going to be in a place where we need to put on body fat to be healthy, to help uh, restore hormonal stability. Um, to make sure that long-term things like bone density are good. Uh, those are things that are important to realize, right? Um, we don't want to allow general health. Gen like, general health has to be here, right? We put the, tend to put the cart before the horse a lot of times. But if our general health doesn't work, none of our bodybuilding or physique goals work. That has to be number one. Um, so just understanding that, understanding that, you know, um, body image plays a huge role in your daily quality of life. Um, it just does how we see ourselves. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that our body image, and for most of us, as physique athletes, our body image is kind of fucked because our standards are fucked, let's be real here, but understanding that if we can keep ourselves in a better place, body image stays a little bit better, right? There is uh, some physical, actual attribute with that, that how it affects us, um, but keeping that within reason helps us to feel better, helps us to continue making progress, right? Help, keeps us motivated, keeps us happy, keeps us enjoying life. That's a big part of it too. Who the fuck wants to do something like physique athletes if they don't make our life better, Ugh, right? So also important, you know, we don't wanna be 30, 40, 50 pounds over stage weight. That makes things hard for a plethora of reasons, especially if we're looking at getting back on stage. So looking at that long term is really, really important. Um, but what about the other off-stage stuff? The other things that a lot of people don't account for. It's called life. It's called life. Like, what else do you like to do? Um, is it getting back into playing music or being with your band? Because, like, that's a big one. 
used to do that kind of shit, right? That was a lot of fun. Is it getting back into riding your motorcycle more often or picking up a new hobby, right? All those other things are really, really awesome to plan for. So for me, uh, <clears throat> one of the things that I planned on doing was I didn't plan on keeping up my cardio regimen after, after stage this last year. So what did I do? I picked up a new hobby. What was it? Jiu-Jitsu! Yes! Um, so it was still something active. It's still something that, you know, was competitive to a point. Um, it's competitive. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it was a positive experience for me, right? It wasn't something that was going to negatively impact me. I get to put on a gi. I don't even have to worry about how I look. Fucking doesn't matter. Sometimes I do no gi too. I digress. Fucking rabbit trail. <laughs> I have something else to focus on, right? I have something else that's fun, that I enjoy, that brings me happiness, right? That I can focus on. I don't have to just simply focus on, am I making progress in my bodybuilding goals? Because let's be real here, bodybuilding off seasons can be very, very stressful and difficult to deal with mentally. If you're a natural athlete in particular, it doesn't come overnight. It takes years and years of hard work, uh, you know, if you're a natural athlete, my recommendation is a minimum of a year off if you need to make progress, right? Probably closer to two years um, in between show seasons to really make progress in terms of building good quality lean muscle. Um, you just can't do it if you're dieting all the time and always in a deficit. So like, we have to have something else that's positive, whether it's work. And don't get me wrong, yes, work is a big fucking thing for me right now, right? YouTube is a big thing for me right now, and again, that's work. But I love my clients. I want to see them do well. I want to see them prospering and just fucking kicking ass on stage. And as of this point in the year, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, so I'm super excited to see everybody get on stage. I'm super excited to see everybody being competitive on stage and bringing in good conditioning um, and being proud of their, their accomplishments and their achievements, right? Um, I'm, I'm happy about that. But that's something that doesn't have to do with my, my personal bodybuilding growth, right? Because if I'm consistently looking like, you know, I needed to make progress on my shoulders. Eh, they're still fucking small. They don't look that impressive. Maybe I get a good lighting picture every once in a while. Um, I'm not that vascular anymore. I'm not quite as lean. I don't have shredded glutes anymore. Like, if I'm always looking at those things, it's, it's hard, right? Because I know that there's body fat there. I know that muscle takes a long time. It's just not an overnight thing. So if I'm consistently focused on that very thing, it makes it really hard to, one, give myself credit for the progress that I've made, but two, to feel happy about the progress that I've made, right? Because it's hard to see, and in the first place, it takes so much time. So paying attention to strength goals is a really great one, too. Maybe we still have gym goals, but our goals for that off-season, for after the size, or after the stage, they're strength goals. They're things where we want to get stronger, we want to squat more, we want to deadlift more. Um, Maybe like we want to run, I know people that have wanted to run marathons or run races in certain times. Is that necessarily the best for our bodybuilding goals? No, but there's an entire fucking life and world out there, right? It doesn't have to always be about bodybuilding goals, right? Maybe we, our goal is more lifestyle. We want to spend more time with our kids. I don't have any kids that I know of, you know? But maybe that's the goal. Maybe the goal is we want to be able to spend more time with our uh, significant other or we want to actually get the fuck out of the house and date. That one I understand, right? Like, I want to go out and meet people and do things and not be a fucking prep hermit, you know? Like, that shit happens too. So, paying attention to all the other facets of life, right? Because bodybuilding is this very small piece. It's a piece. The fuck out. I couldn't get rid of it. It's still here. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's just a small piece. So, making sure that we're setting ourselves up. Uh, that we're not forgetting all those other aspects of who we are, our goals, our desires, the things that are important to us can be really, really important. So, as the season is getting to a start, some of you are already getting you know, on stage and competing this year. Um, remember that, remember, uh, we wanna keep in mind the long-term goals. The things that are important to us for life, for who we are as people, um, and for you know that, that end goal. So hopefully that all recorded because my battery just died. I was like, fuck it, let's go. Anyways, so we don't want to give everything else up just for the bodybuilding stage. Can we do it for a temporary amount of time? Yes, absolutely we can. Do we want to do it forever? No. We want to have whole, full lives filled with all of the things that we love and enjoy. So don't forget to plan for the long term. Don't forget that there is something that comes after the stage. Don't forget there are a million other important things in your life um, 
you know, that we want to think about and prioritize and still have goals and, and, and allow to be important to us. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Talk to you soon.